gonna share my setup for warping. So instead of putting two um, chairs upside down, the legs were not going straight up, they were angling, so that's not a great way to warp. So what I'm gonna do is I have some dowel rods that I put down and I have this ruler that measures 36 inches because we wanna warp one yard right now. And we're only gonna do two inches wide, so only 30 pieces of yarn because it's 15 ends per inch is what we're gonna warp it at. So I put a um, dowel rod perpendicular to the table. I folded up a little bit of fabric so it won't roll. It also doesn't roll because it's at the edge of this ruler. And then I'm just setting a book on top of it to really weight it down and hold it in place. On this side, I have a stapler to um, hold this in place and then I have fabric so it doesn't roll and I'm putting a book on top. So just find things around your house that you can use. Um, you want it to be a yard apart. You can see when I pull this, it moves. So you wanna try to um, not pull too hard. I may put something else heavy here. Actually, I have a hammer right here um, to see if we can help hold that into place. So what I'm gonna do is start with my yarn on the floor. And I'm doing a slip knot. I know the video says to do a bow type of knot, um, but I'm just doing a slip knot. I can take it off at the end. Actually, no, I'm gonna do the bow. All right, so I'm gonna start by tying a bow like they said to in the video so we can untie it and tie the string, the ends together. So here's the bow. And now I'm gonna go under and then over the next one. And then under and over. And I'm gonna hold some tension, but not tons of tension because these are not totally secure. If you have clamps, that would be a great option to um, clamp the, this dowels down while you're um, warping. You can also use a broomstick if your chairs have uh, straight legs that are perpendicular to the floor, you could use a chair. So you can see I'm going over and then under each dowel. And what happens then, because I'm doing that, do you see how it's creating a cross right here? And that's what we want to um, divide the warp threads in half. And we're going to make a shuttle or a rigid huddle based on that. So you want 30 threads total, 15 for each inch. And similar to warping at school, stretch this out. You want to not just count the top or the bottom, but both. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Okay, so I have a little ways to go. That's how you wanna um, set up your warp. Make sure that these stay secure, even if you need someone to hold on to it, that's helpful too.